we are going to replace the thermostat and then replace the spark plugs and see where that gets us. I don't know if it'll do anything. It may do nothing. I'll let you know. I gotta drain this. Never changed the thermostat before, so we'll see how she goes. I gotta drain the radiator. There's a little guy down there that I gotta turn. And there's a little hose coming off it, so I'm assuming that's what. There it goes. Yeah, it's poop water. Yeah. The poop water is coming out. It didn't really start coming out. Look, that's fucking terrible. That's straight rust water. Didn't start coming out hella until I um, undid that. And then it started draining out, so we'll let that drain and uh, get back to you. Alright, once the coolant's completely finished, I'm going to di um, cut the zip tie right here. Um, remove this clamp right there and then uh, pull that hose off and see what I can do as far as getting a tool in there because it looks like on this side it's going to be very difficult to get a uh, anything on there this shit's in the way so we'll see I'll get back to you when I figure something out got that shit off but uh... <sighs> I got coolant everywhere I should have expected that. Trying to figure out a way to get that shit off. I got it out. It's tricky. I had to use I had to use uh, this to get that like back one that was way back in there. You can see the hole now. Um, I had to use that to get that, and it worked. So uh, I go ahead and clean this guy out, and then throw the other one in. This is going way better than I thought it was gonna go. Okay, so we got the gasket. And this, uh, it looked like what was on there before was uh, RTV, and it looked like it was RTV or something, but uh, when I looked up online, this was like the OEM solution, so I'm gonna go with this and see how it works. If it leaks hella bad, then I guess I'm going to have to get some RTV for it. Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna throw it in there, and I'll show you once it's in there, because I don't really want to film and do this at the same time. Alright, new one's in. It was kind of difficult, but uh, I got it in there. I just kind of took both hands and I hand tightened them first to make sure I didn't like strip it in there. And then I tightened it with this and bada bing. Gonna hook up the, the the hose, hook up this vacuum line that I undid, and then uh, put some distilled water in it. Start the spark plug. Got it on there. Job's complete. Um, I need to put water in it and bleed it. And spark plugs. First time ever doing spark plugs, so we'll see how this goes. Um, there's eight of them. I'm gonna start with the exhaust side because it's easier and I want to learn how to do it. And uh, yeah, making progress. I didn't think it would be this easy. Spark plugs. Spark plug guy. I don't have a magnet guy, so I'm using this 16 millimeter, and I have this extendable magnet guy that I'm gonna be using to get them out. All right, I'm sure you don't wanna see someone pull spark plugs, so I'll just let you know how it goes. Look at this. Look at the difference. That one's cake, or toasted, basically. This one's brand new. This is gonna give me a billion horsepower upgrade, billion horsepower from these guys. By the way, I'm just doing one at a time, so I don't mess up the order of the Sparker Boys. This side's super easy. Changed my first fucking spark. <laughs> Alright, exhaust side is complete. One of my spark plug wires was kind of weird. Um, I have to replace that. Uh, I'm gonna go gap the other uh, intake side. I'm not looking forward to this. 
there's two over there really close to each other and there's two right here really close to each other. It's gonna be kind of a bitch. All right, got the left side, AKA the intake side of the spark plug change, which is a total fucking nightmare. It's a nightmare, it's terrible. I. It's absolutely fucking terrible, I hated it, but it's done. We got a coolant, bleed it, and then I'll try to start it and see what happens. So replace the uh, spark plugs up in here, come over here. They're like <coughs> farther there and get in there, that's really difficult. And in doing so, <coughs> I discovered that this spark plug wire is broken. There's the little connector guys stuck down here on the spark plug. Oop. That's the only one, so we're gonna replace that. That's not supposed to be down there. See, that's supposed to be inside. That's supposed to be inside there. We'll find the one with a matching link. And then shove this. And then shove. So it sounded like a Subaru before, before the spark plugs. Huh. Give it a rip. Hold it at like 15. It's fixed enough. Look at you, you're like, mm. It doesn't sound fixed. Yeah, it sounds fine. A little bit broken up right there. I'd say that's good. But yeah, it's just an old shitty car. We'll see you guys later.